Yesterday, we got some great news from Disney. Uh, we found out that uh, Ogus Cantina, Rancho del Zocalo, uh, the Tiki Juice Bar, we're all going to be reopening soon uh, and more. And today, it gets even better. You might have seen by now, if you follow social media, you might have seen by now this clip. Disneyland band practicing backstage. Safe to assume that they're not doing this just for fun, <laughs> they're practicing with a purpose. Even better, the rumor that I'm hearing is that they won't be alone. The Disneyland band is warming up and so too is the Pearly Band, Five and Dime, and the Main Street Piano, the guy who plays out in Coke Corner. And like the news that we got about, you know, dining returning, this too is a, is a terrific sign, a great sign of the direction that Disney is heading with respect to their attitude towards opening things up, creating more capacity, creating more opportunities for people to do things. We know that when the park reopened, live entertainment didn't reopen with it. And the reason for that was pretty much they didn't want to create opportunities for crowds to gather, for, you know, for, for there to be, to be a congregation of people. Uh, social distancing, etc. But obviously, with you know the entertainment coming back now, you're getting a sense that they're not as concerned about that as they were. Things are getting better. So what should we expect? Well, what I'm hearing is that Disneyland Bank could be back as soon as maybe next week, by the 20th or so. And then the other ones, you know, the Pearly Band, Five and Dime, uh, and the Main Street Piano, maybe a week after that. Worst case scenario, my guess is before the end of the month. And this this kind of lines up with things that have been happening following June 15th. We're, we're full steam ahead on the June 15th plan and pushing things open. With respect to the, the specific performances, I would say the Disneyland Band is probably gonna be very much like what we saw in the past. We're gonna see them march up and down Main Street. They were marching backstage. They're, they weren't practicing standing still. They were marching, so I do expect to see them marching on Main Street. Perhaps that little parade with the characters that come out, it's pretty great. And then they'll wind up at the Main Street station for the Disneyland Railroad. They'll play up on the steps so that there's no you know, immediate contact. Never really was a problem for the Disneyland Band anyway. Uh, Pearly Band, again, I, I think we're gonna get the same. I think we're gonna get the same as what we got before, if only because they never really drew a big, a big crowd anyway. If you go, you go see the Pearly Band, people will stop and listen, but it's mostly, you kind of just listen to it as you walk through Fantasyland, typically. They're gonna play in this little corner, that little corner but very rarely do they ever draw more than five or 10 people. So uh, I feel like we're gonna see them just like they were. Main Street Piano, uh, I, I would imagine this, this comes with the reopening of Coke Corner, although we haven't heard anything about Coke Corner reopening, I still would expect that to be the case. Uh, it kind of makes sense, right? They go together. Now, whether or not that'll include you know, the Mad Hatter and his antics, you know, with the, with the musical chairs, that kind of thing, I'm not sure if that's gonna come back because that did draw a crowd. Uh, you got a lot of people that were sit down and watch that show. So I'm a little, it's probably just going to be the jazz piano, and that's about it for now. Uh, meanwhile, over at DCA with the, with the uh, Five and Dime, I'm expecting that show to go, that show to go as it normally did uh, out there at the Carthay Circle. Again, it did draw a little bit of a crowd, but there was plenty of space for people to spread out there, so I'm not worried about that. And hopefully they'll bring back the, uh, that vintage car as their stage. That's a great show, and it makes for a great effect in Carthay Circle. I love that, and I miss that show quite a bit. Now, again, I have to say, this is just a rumor, speculation, based on some whispers that I've heard. I have not been able to vet this. Obviously, Disney hasn't confirmed it, though. I would imagine <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if we heard something from them on the Disney Parks blog in the next day or two, just like they did for the restaurants yesterday. Uh, now, one thing that I didn't mention as part of this rumor, one thing that I haven't heard along with this was the return of any kind of live entertainment in terms of uh, nighttime shows, you know, fireworks, uh, the parades, uh, uh, Fantasmic, World of Color. Haven't heard anything about that yet, but I did hear a separate rumor disconnected from this one that says that Disney may, they're thinking, they're talking about possibly we're maybe going to get maybe a 4th of July fireworks show. Now, and I've heard this from other sources, non-Disney sources. People have been speculating this for a little bit now. Uh, and it makes sense. You know, we, ha we had that discussion a couple weeks ago about uh, Disney doing some testing, and they notified all the, uh, you know, the neighborhood, uh, the Anaheim residents that they were gonna be doing fireworks. Uh, <clears throat> now, that was just for the Avengers Campus opening ceremony type deal. But as it's been explained to me, it's not typical for 
for Disney, it wouldn't be typical for Disney to bring back and start retraining fireworks crews just for that one show, that they might have another show in mind. Having said that, if a 4th of July show does happen, and again, complete rumor and speculation right now, I'm just spitballing, but if it did come back, it's more than likely just a one-off, or, or, or it, it, at minimum, it's not a signal of fireworks are coming back and so too are all the other nighttime shows. It doesn't mean it's gonna come back on a nightly basis. It just means they're thinking about doing a show for 4th of July, so keep that in mind. We don't even know if we're gonna get that yet. It's not even confirmed, but just planting that bug in your ear. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it's, you gotta, they're not just, you don't just go full Disney overnight, right? On June 15th, you just don't go full Disney. Uh, you can, you've got to kind of, they got to get their show legs in. They've got to train folks. They've got to uh, sort of test and kind of warm things up. They, they can't just flip the switch and turn this stuff on. So we have to be patient with this a little bit. But like I said, it's a very good sign. Otherwise, that's all we have for now. Stay tuned, though, uh, as we'll have more to follow for sure. Until then, if you'd like to remember what it was like to see the Disneyland band on Main Street, uh, stay tuned for the end of this video. We're going to give you a little bit of Main Street magic. Some of that Disneyland band, some of those characters. It's a great time. It's one of my favorite things they do at the Disneyland Resort. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, subscribe to our channel. Turn on notifications. You can follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked and on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney. That's Fresh with no E. And on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. Uh, it's Street Team. We're going to be getting a lot of stuff from the Street Team. I'm working on a, a construction video with operations update. We're going to have that for you by tomorrow, I think. I got a lot of stuff from folks that I can't wait to share with you guys. If you are in the parks and you see something that you want to share with us or that you want uh, the Fresh Baked community to know about, take a picture, shoot a video, send me an email at david at freshbakedizzy.com. You can add us on Twitter, again, at Fresh Baked Disney, or you can DM me with those photos or videos. I would love to share it. Obviously, we'll give you guys a shout out if you do. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And Fresh Baked. <laughs>
when you just light up the One, two, three, four. Two, two, four.